get your name it's me Ella today I wanted to hop on here and share with you like a new segment or whatever <laughs> uh, that I thought of today um, so I have been doing stitch your library with uh, with uh, Rebecca at yarn pajamas Priscilla at distinctive crochet and Terry at your enjoy podcast and there's a few other people participating as well but I've been doing that and I'm going to continue doing that. But I also thought of another cool um, idea for me because I've, one of my goals this year and every year is to use up stash yarn and uh, try not to purchase other yarn. So um, I was thinking today when I was cleaning, <laughs> I was doing some cleaning and organizing my yarn uh, hoard. <laughs> and um, I was thinking, well, there's Stitch Your Library. And then I was thinking I should start doing Stitch Your Stash, which is where you stitch any pattern. Could, it could be from your library that you've had forever or a new one, but from stash yarns that you've had for a while. So uh, in my head, I was like, that's a cool idea. I'm going to do that because um, I have a lot of yarns that I've had for a long time and I need to use up. So this is the first episode of Stitch Your Stash. <laughs> and um, yeah, so what I did is I pulled out a yarn that's been living in my stash for a while. It was partially used skein. I think I made an amigurumi with it. I believe I made a bunny rabbit for Jesse. A little tiny like ragdoll bunny rabbit for him and then it was just living in my stash for a long time so I pulled it out and it was a and um, I love this yarn and the color was Blossomopolis <laughs> and uh, it's a number four acrylic 100% acrylic uh, worsted weight so um, I wanted to pull it out of my stash and use it up so I did so I first I wanted to make a hat for June and this is actually going to be for this next coming winter uh, when she's almost a year old I wanted to go ahead and make a cute little hat for her when she, she has a bigger head because <laughs> it's almost well, it's practically spring here tomorrow's actually spring the first day of spring and it's already warmed up a lot here uh, I live in middle Tennessee so it, it warms up pretty quick here um, so I was thinking ahead to this coming winter which usually uh, hits us in November it gets starts getting cool and then December is kind of cool and then our main um, coldness cold winter is January February March so we're moving into that um, we're moving out of that now, and we're, we're um, thinking ahead to next year. This year or next year, whatever. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I pulled that yarn out, and I found a pattern online. I thought it was cute. I was trying to find one that um, would look good in a variegated color. Didn't have, like, stripes or anything on it. So I found this cute pattern, and it's a free pattern, and it's called Baby Bear Hat. And um, the person who made its name is Kelly. I forgot her last name. No. But I'll pop it up somewhere. Uh, and it's such a cute pattern. I used a H hook which is a five millimeter and then it's worsted weight yarn so here it is so this is the hat I made for June isn't it cute it is a the pattern goes from preemie all the way up to a year and this size right here is for six to twelve months so I think it's so cute it is made in half double crochet stitches the uh, the hat is and then the ears are made in double crochet and single crochets and they're sewn on there but I thought it was so cute so this did use up a good hunk of the yarn from that leftover skein, but I still had some, so I thought I'd make something else. I was going to make me a matching hat for her, but I didn't have enough yarn to make a hat, and I found that out by starting to make a hat and then realizing after I did all the increases that there wasn't enough to make the body of the hat. So I had to rip it out, and then I was like, well, I'll make it ear warmer. So um, this is just, this is no pattern. I just did this myself. I just made double crochets. I chained um, 12, and then I made 11 double crochets back into the chain. And uh, I just went until it wrapped around my head, and then I made the same ears from this pattern. But I did use a larger hook. I used an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter. So I made me a headband to match her um, little hat. So there's my headband <laughs> and then June's little hat. So we'll be matching this coming winter. I can keep my ears warm and she can have her little hat on and it's going to be cute. <laughs> and I did have a little tiny bit left over. I had this much left over. So this will go into my bag of variegated scrap yarns that I'm going to use for some sort of project. Um, earlier this year, I think I started in December and then into January, I made a scrap gan with most of my solid color scraps. So I'm, I need to find something to do with my multicolor scraps. So I'm just hoarding them up and I'll find something to, to do with them later. So this will go into that bucket. But I did successfully pull that floppy partially used skein out of my stash and use it up. I made a baby hat and an ear warmer for myself. And then this little scrap ball. So that's what I made with this one. I think it was pretty neat. But uh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear this later this year with her. And we have matching hats. And I'll probably make a bunch more matching sets for us um, throughout the year. But um, I think it's cute. 
So this is a free pattern. I'll link it down below. This, I didn't use a pattern, but I will type it out below what I did in case you want to do it. But it's, it's really simple. All I did was, like I said, I started with um, 12 chains and then I worked back in the single, the second chain, a double crochet and then it all the way down. So that was 11 double crochets. And then I just did as many rounds as it would wrap around my head, kind of tight. You know, I stretched it because you want it to be kind of snug on you. And then um, I just held the sides together and I slip stitched them together. And then I made the same ears from this pattern, but I just, they're bigger because I used a slightly bigger uh, hook. So this one was a H, which is a five millimeter. This is a I, which is 5.5 millimeter. millimeter. <laughs> but I think it's cute. So I think I did pretty good for my first stitch from your stash. Stitch your stash. <laughs> so um, I got one skein out and I also got a ball band. So I'm gonna have a ball band for March, which I think is my second ball band because <laughs> I haven't been crocheting much. Um, Big projects so far. I'm still working on my shrug. I need to get that done. It's almost done though. Well, kinda. <laughs> but um, I've been mo mostly working with scraps, so I need to try to stitch from my stash and get rid of some of these yarns. Because I have so many skeins. I have two shelves in here, and I have two in the living room. And plus, when we were cleaning Jesse's bedroom today, I found two big bags of yarn um, up underneath his bed, which I forgot I put there. So now I have even more yarn. Plus, I got a box in the mail with even more yarn in it. So, I need to start using up some of this stashed yarn so that I can put my new yarn in my shelf. And then also so I can buy some yarn. Because there's some new yarn that I want so bad. I want the Premier Fruit Yarn. The Cakes. I've been looking at it and looking at it. But I don't want to buy it because I have so much yarn. So, I'm trying to use up stuff so that I don't feel so bad about buying <laughs> and bringing more into the house. But I want some of that fruit yarn so bad. I want some of that dragon fruit. And, um... There was another one I really liked. I liked uh, the banana one, and I liked the grapefruit one. I just like all of them. <laughs> I want all of them. So, um, in order to buy those, I need to get rid of some yarn. So, I'm going to try to work through some stash balls and get rid of them. And also, I'm going to be getting rid of some of them pretty soon in a giveaway. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. It's actually the video for that is coming out really soon. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, I'm just trying to work through stuff. So, I, I think I did pretty good for the first one. I made these both today, by the way. I did take some t clips. I don't know if they'll be before this or after this. Of this. I didn't take it of this because I was doing this in the living room when the kids were, you know, baby was making noises. Devin was doing his thing. Jesse was doing his thing. It was loud and um, I had to keep stopping to do, you know, to do family stuff. But anyways, point is, I'll, I'll end up some, some clips at some point. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that was my first Ditch Your Stash. I hope you guys liked it. And uh, I hope you guys get inspiration to use yarn from your stash. And if you do, let me know down below in the comments or uh, over on the Facebook great page <laughs> group. Um, let me know what you make. Let me know what yarn you used up or any of that stuff. I'm interested in everything. And I'll see you guys in another video. Coming out soon, there'll be a giveaway video. Wink, probably tomorrow. <laughs> and then, um, I don't know. When else? We'll see. <laughs> Whenever I get the time to record, videos will come out. But I'm going to hop off here and get this up for you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.